What's up, Future Docs? I'm Cody. I recently graduated medical school about a month ago. I'm currently awaiting match day. Um, I applied to emergency medicine. And on today's vlog, I wanted to share with you guys what I really wish I knew before I started medical school. So I am an IMG, which means International Medical Graduate. I went to St. George's University in the Caribbean. However, um, I think wherever I would have went to medical school, I wish I would have known these like top five things. So can't wait to share that with you guys. And I hope you find it helpful. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I know some of y'all watch, but you don't subscribe. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos also if you're looking for some fresh medical school merch head over to youcanmd.com we got the t-shirts the hats the crew necks the sweatshirts whatever you need head over to youcanmd.com and don't forget to follow me on instagram at youcanmd so like i said whether you go to a caribbean school do school american usmd school whatever i think um you know i think these are some of the things that you want to take into consideration um if you want to have some success in medical school you know, medical school is a journey. It's tough. You're going to be placed in tough situations when it comes to, you know, studying and, and getting that, just the volume of information that you're required to know, man, it's, it's, it's hard, you know, at the end of the day. So hopefully with these tips and tab bits, you know, it'll help ease that journey for y'all. Y'all can use it. Um, and let me know how it goes, man. Don't forget to put it down in the comments and, and let me know if you agree with some of these things or if I need to add some of these things. So make sure you drop it down below in the comment section. So number one is questions, man. Questions, questions, questions. So when I was a first year med student, you know, I spent a lot of time just reading, a lot of reading, uh, watching videos, but I didn't necessarily do a lot of questions. And I think so my first semester I had my lowest GPA. You know, I didn't do horrible, but you know, I, I didn't do as well as I wanted to. I was sitting at like a low B, like an 80 um, GPA or WMPG, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so, you know, the thing for me was, my dog in the back, <laughs> but the thing for me was, you know, I need to figure out what's going on. So, you know, I, I looked at the different things I was doing. I was spending a lot of time just going over PowerPoints and going over lectures and, <laughs> Charlie, uh, going over lectures and things like that, man. But uh, what happened was, you know, once I started doing those questions, just knocking them out, whether it was uh, questions from the back of the book or finding the online resources, man, my GPA skyrocketed, right? The next semester, you know, I, almost made all A's. So I think what happened was, you know, just incorporating all those questions, man, because think about it, you know, it's only a certain amount of ways that you can learn materials and, and it's only a certain amount of ways that they can ask certain questions. So if you go through these different questions, you know, you're gonna see them, right? And you're gonna recognize patterns and that helps you with those standardized tests as well. And so not only does it help you learn the information because when you're doing the questions, you wanna figure out, you know, which one is right, right, why it's right, you know, and why the other one's wrong. And once you do that a certain number of times uh, for the same subject, you know, you, you're gonna retain that information. So questions, 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 man, do those questions. The second thing you want to do is follow your passions. You know, um, when you, you you talk to those upper termers or those those upper level med students, and especially when you're a new med student and they're you know applying to residency and stuff, and they're just telling you about the applications. You know, and and, and when they tell you all the things that's on your application, you're like, whoa, man. I I probably need to load up on some stuff, man. But no, you want to follow what you're passionate about and make sure you go to extra effort to do that. So if you if you love, you know, like SGA, you know, try to get an SGA and, and work your way up the ranks, you know. For me, I, I love vlogging. I love sharing information with you guys. I love mentorship. So those are things that I truly focused on. And during my interviews, that's pretty much all we talked about things that I'm passionate about. So we talk a lot about mentorship. We talk a lot about increasing diversity in medicine. And we talk a lot about the vlog, a lot like it, it, it surprised me so much. You know, I was on the, when I was on different interviews and they were like, hey, you know, I watched your videos and they were awesome. I was like, wow, I can't believe y'all took, really took the time to, you know, just look at some of the videos just to get to know me as a person. So follow those passions, man. You know, don't just try to add things on your resume to fluff it up, you know, because if you, 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 you say you want to volunteer, right, but you only go once a month or maybe once every two months, you know, are you really 
passionate about that? Are you, are you really putting the time in and the work in? Or are you just using it as a tool to, you know, fluff up your app, fluff up your application? So remember, follow those passions and you'll be good to go. So number three is to find your study strategy. So I get a lot of questions for students who, you know, they're just starting medical school and they have like a little break in between and they want to know what they need to do in between that time. And, you know, I always tell people, you know, they always ask, should I study? Should I, should I learn this and that? And I, I say, you know, no, figure out your study strategy, you know, go on YouTube, look at different things and, and sit and reflect um, and think about what worked for you while you were in undergrad or graduate school and see how you can improve that because you know figuring out your study strategy early on would help you a lot like i said you know me figuring out that i needed to do questions a lot you know that 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 goes into figuring out my study strategy so just trying to come up with a basis and you know with the volume of information that you get in medical school, you know, it may change, um, but at least you have sort of a foundation that you can build upon. And now that, you know, you, you got something, you can just pick little tad bits and, and things out that you may not need or add things in that you may need. So try to figure that out. You know, it, it may take a little bit of time. It may take a couple tests, you know, but once you figure that out early, it'll definitely help you throughout medical school. You can just apply the same study strategy and then, you know, and, and hopefully that works for you and you get some good grades and, and you can pass it along to the next med student. So find that study strategy early. Okay, so number four it is very important. Okay, so if this is mentorship, find yourself a mentor as early as you can. So for me, you know, I was one of those people who was like, you know, I can do everything on my own. I want to figure it out on my own. But yeah, you, you, you really want a mentor. You know, you want to find somebody that's in a position that you aspire to be in, right? So um, if you want to go into emergency medicine, you know, go, join your local, join EMRA. Uh, join your, your local academy and, and find those mentors. Trust me, there are plenty out there and there are plenty who are willing to help you out, right? So the importance of mentorship, it, it, it just helps you get a level up, right? Because a lot of these specialties that people want to go into, you know, they, they may not know all the nuances. So just being able to communicate with somebody and just get advice from people, man, it's very, very important. And I highly recommend getting a mentor as soon as you can. Even if it's not in the field that you want to go into, they can possibly, you know, network. They can give you a contact for somebody who is in that field. So make sure you find that mentor, make sure you stick with it, um, and make sure you stay enthused about learning and, and, and being a good mentee. So that's number four. All right, so the last but not least, it's gonna kind of sound kind of weird a little bit, but it's appreciate the grind, man. Just, just you know, when you when you spending those hours in the in the study hall or the library, you know, just try to appreciate it. Try to sit back and I, I know it's it's stressful, man. Trust me, I know you know when you got these tests coming up, you got board exams coming up, you got OSCEs coming up, and, and, and while you're in that situation, it's just like, oh my God, I, I have the world on my shoulders. You know, I have so much on my plate and it's hard to really think about just, you know, taking it all in and, and, and enjoying it for what it is. But trust me, you know, when, when you think about it and, and you're in my position now or even years ahead, when you're in an attending position, you know, you're gonna you're gonna truly miss those moments. You're gonna miss those moments when you know you had those coffee breaks with your friends outside, you know, just talking about life. Um, and you know, you're gonna miss those those study sessions where you're quizzing each other, you're gonna miss those group chats where you you're putting out different questions and you, everybody's trying to answer it. So um though you know, you know, don't take that stuff for granted, you know. Um, just enjoy it, try to embrace it, you know. I know it's a grind, I know it's tough. Uh, but you know, just take it for what it is. This is a journey that you've embarked on or you plan on embarking on. Um, and you want to just, you, you want to soak it all in, man. So, uh, yeah, appreciate the grind. So I know I was kind of rambling for a little bit, but you know, I, I just hope these five tips or whatever help y'all, man, because you know, I really wish I would have uh, known a lot of these things in, in, in medical school, you know, and just looking back and reflect, I'm like, wow, can't believe I did some of these things. And some of the time I'm like, you know, I can't believe I didn't incorporate some of these things sooner in my medical school journey. So uh, hopefully this helps y'all out. If, if y'all are just starting or if you've already started, you know, uh, hopefully 
this helps. So that's it for this week, man. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope you can use some of these tips. Uh, don't forget, man, if you have any questions, any comments, any content that y'all want uploaded, make sure you drop it down below in the comment box. I'll be sure to get back to y'all. That's it for this week's vlog. I'll see y'all on the next one.